Trappist-1, is an ultra-cool red dwarf star that is slightly larger, but much more massive, than the planet Jupiter. It is located 39.6 light-years, from the Sun in the constellation, Aquarius. A study released in May 2017, suggests that the stability of the system is not particularly surprising, if one considers how the planets migrated to their present orbits through a protoplanetary disk. A team of Belgium astronomers, first discovered three Earth-sized planets orbiting the dwarf star in 2015. A team led by Mikhail Gillen, at the University of Liège, in Belgium detected the planets using transit photometry with the transiting planets, and planetesimal small telescope at the La Sala Observatory in Chile and the Observatoire de Loca Imede in Morocco. Depending on definition, up to six could be in the optimistic habitable zone, with estimated equilibrium temperatures of 170 to 330 Kelvin. In November 2018, researchers determined that Planet E is the most likely Earth-like ocean world and would be an excellent choice for further study with habitability in mind. The planets are designated in the order of their discovery, beginning with B, for the first planet discovered, C for the second and so on. All seven of TRAPPIST-1's planets orbit much closer than Mercury orbits, the Sun. The planets should appear prominently, in each other's skies, in some cases appearing several times, larger than the Moon appears, from Earth. A year on the closest planet, passes in only 1.5 Earth days, while the seventh planet's year passes, in only 18.8 days. The planets pass so close to one another, that gravitational interactions are significant, and their orbital, periods are nearly resonant. In the time the innermost, planet completes eight orbits, the second, third, and fourth planets complete five, three, and two. The gravitational tugging, also results in transit timing variations, ranging from under a minute, to over 30 minutes, which allowed the investigators, to calculate the masses of all but the, outermost planet. The total mass of the six inner planets, is approximately 0.02% the mass, of TRAPPIST-1, a fraction similar to that for the Galilean, satellites to Jupiter, and an observation suggestive of a similar, formation history. The densities of the planets range from, 0.60 to 1.17 times that of Earth, indicating predominantly, rocky compositions. Between 18, February and the 27th of March 2017, a team of astronomers, used the Spitzer Space Telescope to observe, TRAPPIST-1 to refine the orbital and physical, parameters of the seven planets, using updated parameters for the star. Although no new mass estimates were given, the team managed to refine the orbital, parameters and radii, of the planets within a very small, error margin. In addition, to updated planetary parameters, the team also found evidence for a large, hot atmosphere around, the innermost planet. Planets C, D, E, and F lack hydrogen-helium, atmospheres. Planet D might have a liquid water ocean, comprising about 5% of its mass for comparison, Earth's water content is LD, 0.1% while, if F and G have water layers, they are likely frozen. Planet E has a slightly higher, density than Earth, indicating a terrestrial rock, and iron composition. The orbital motions of the TRAPPIST-1, planets form a complex chain with three-body, Laplace-type resonances linking every member. Most sets of orbit is similar, to the set found at TRAPPIST-1 are unstable, causing one planet to come, within the hill sphere of another, or to be thrown out. Tidally locked planets would typically, have very large temperature differences between, their permanently lit day sides and their, permanently dark night sides, which could produce very strong, wind circling the planets. Another possibility is that the planets, may be pushed into effectively non-synchronous, spin states due to strong mutual interactions, among the seven planets, resulting in more complete, stellar coverage over the surface of the planets. Tidal heating is predicted to be significant, all planets except F and H are expected to have a tidal, heat flux greater than Earth's total heat flux. Though even on highly irradiated planets, it might remain in cold traps at the, poles or on the night sides, of tidally locked planets. 
because of the system's relative proximity, the small size of the primary, and the orbital alignments that produce daily transits. The atmospheres of TRAPPIST-1's planets are favorable targets for transmission spectroscopy investigation. The combined transmission spectrum of planets P and C, obtained by the Hubble Space Telescope, rules out a cloud-free hydrogen-dominated atmosphere for each planet, so they are unlikely to harbor an extended gas envelope, unless it is cloudy out to high altitudes. Another study hinted at the presence of hydrogen exospheres around the two inner planets with exospheric disks extending up to seven times the planet's radii. In a paper by an international collaboration, using data from space and ground-based telescopes, it was found that planets C and E likely have largely rocky interiors, and that B is the only planet above the runaway greenhouse limit. Due to the close proximity of the planets in the habitable zone with a separation of at least tilde 0.01 astronomical units, from each other, the probability of life being transferred from one planet to another is greatly enhanced. For these reasons, even the outer TRAPPIST-1 planets are believed to be unlikely to have moons.